If I judge ministers who have knowingly misled the House, if I judge ministers who have knowingly misled the House, then they cannot stay, and that remains my position. Order, order. Statement, Mr. Secretary Lang. Sir Richard Scott's report demonstrates that this allegation is false and without foundation. I quote, I quote from Sir Richard's words. Finally, Chairman, order, order. The minister is making a statement. You've got questions to ask. You may see to catch my eye later. Meanwhile, we shall hear the minister out. There was no conspiracy. There was no cover-up. Such charges are reckless and malicious, and they should never have been made. You're going to be resigning today, Mr. Walsgrove. Those who alleged otherwise should now withdraw unreservedly and apologise to the House and to my right honourable and honourable friends, whom they have defamed. Which ministers accept responsibility for what went wrong while they were in office? Will he tell us? whether the government will dismiss those ministers who, in the opinion of Sir Richard, failed to discharge the obligation of ministerial accountability to this House? Will they take those steps that are now essential if they are to be entrusted in office? And I warn the President, if he fails, if he fails, if he fails to answer those questions, this government will forfeit any right to remain in office. Right, sit down. Oh, Not you, sir. <laughs> look round, sir. Look round. Well, I'll ask you to see you look at the picture. Sir, sit sir. Abroad, they'd probably be astonished by the whole thing. I mean, the French, and the, the Americans too, uh, a lot of other continental countries were selling arms based equipment to Iraq, sometimes probably rather more than Britain. The, um, the trouble about what happened in Britain is that the government was found out.